It shoots stars. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Check it out. Oh, I think one of the parts has a mortal on it. That's kind of crazy. How's it going, crew? This is Happy Days, and oh my gosh, <laughs> welcome back to our Expert Spirit Mod Let's Play. Get away from me, crazy mobs, and I'm excited to get back into our adventure today, guys. We've got a lot to do, we've got a lot to explore, and we are currently making our way down to the underworld. Oh my gosh, Axe Statue, we will definitely pick that up. Oh goodness, that's a big drop, but there is a secret room here. We're making our way down to the underworld because there is a bunch of ultimate weapons that we're going to be crafting this this episode, so they're ultimate before you beat the wall of flesh. Oh my goodness, that is a huge drop. Hello, what's going on in this pit here? There's mobs galore. Let's jump into action. And there's a life crystal. Wow, we will definitely get that. I am excited about that. We will use that. Because we're so close to the wall of flesh, I will be using any life crystals we find now um, leading up to that battle because we will definitely need full HP. Get away from me, crazy mob. Oh my goodness. Oh no! Oh, I almost died from a boulder. Oh, that was so close, oh my goodness. But we have survived, people. It's all under control. No, okay, all right. Just don't panic, Happy. Oh, another life crystal, yes. No, 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 I ran out of flight time. No. Oh. I can see the comments now. Happy, happy. Why don't you use your grappling hook, you crazy chicken? Oh, so embarrassing. But we did get another life crystal, and we've beaten our 50th cave bat. Huzzah! It is so exciting. So as you can see, guys, there is a bunch of lava down here, and we are definitely going to be... Ooh, a hidden room. Nice. Uh, we're going to be want to be making... I'm getting tongue-tied. Shark statue. Uh, we're going to want to be making some um, obsidian skin potions, uh, so we can actually up Hellstone because all the ultimate weapons I want to make all require uh, Hellstone bars. So that's going to be kind of cool. Definitely going to have to get our hands on that. But I'll come and make that later. What I'd really like to do is just make a path to the underworld first um, because that's going to help us really get there nice and quickly. And it looks like end of the line here, people, but I did pick up some bombs. Oh, I've got tons of bombs. Wow, let's start to throw those down. Gracie would be proud. Run for your life, puppy. What are you doing? Get out of the bombs way. Oh, goodness. It's like the time I tried to blow up the stylus with bombs, but NPCs are invincible, I think, which is kind of cool, I suppose. And it looks like, okay, yep, yeah, we've made a path. The bombs are going everywhere. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's just go down here. And then... Oh! 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 my gosh. I almost blew myself up. Oh! Okay, there's a little bit of lead. We might as well mine that up now. Seeing as I almost died for it, we might as well get it. Oh, my goodness. I'm pouring lava on my head. Oh! All right, let's get out of there, guys. It's very dangerous. And there is a hoplite. Guarding the marble biome here. Oh goodness, there's so much lava! Oh, I, oh, I need those obsidian skin potions now. All right, let's blast our way through there. And there's a giant, it like thingy in there. We're gonna make our way through. Oh no, there's lava getting in. Oh my gosh. Okay, what we're gonna have to do? Let's throw some more bombs because bombs help everything. I'm throwing on a healing potion. What's it called? A Terravor or something? A Terravor? A Terravor? That's okay. We're gonna kill it. Let's just kill it and see if it drops anything. Hardened Carapace. Okay, that's kind of cool. And it looks like we found the underworld. This is so awesome. So guys, apparently there's some new enemies in the underworld that drop a new crafting material. It's called like molten something or other. Um, I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. And hopefully, oh goodness, oh no, it's a um, it's a hellstone one. I can't stand on it yet because I don't have an obsidian shield. So let's just go for a little wander. Maybe we can find something else. There's a bone serpent trying to get me here, but that's okay. Let's open some pots. Let's kill the bone serpent. We might use our gun for that. That might help out. And let's have a little look around. I don't, oh, I don't think I've got a shadow key on me. Oh well, I'll have to go back to the dungeon. Oh, oh goodness. Stay away from me, you crazy thing. So yeah, we definitely want to find these new enemies and get this crafting material. Apparently it makes like a throwing armor set or something like that. So that will be pretty nice indeed. All right, there we go. We killed that. I'm putting more lava everywhere. Oh, there's something called a forgotten one. Why has it only got five hit points? What's the go there? That seems a bit suspicious to me, guys. Let's kill it. Oh, wow. Four gold. That is massive. Holy moly. And a coin portal. Oh, so lucky, guys. We are out of control with our luck at the moment. Have I got a Hellforge yet? I don't think so. We should probably pick one up. No, of course. I haven't. Oh, my gosh. Ouch, 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 ouch. I think it's time for some inventory sorting, guys. Let's do it. Okay, guys, we have some new enemies. We've got this gluttonous devourer thing chasing me around, and it drops some infernal rocks. 
And there's another one of those forgotten ones in the infernal field. Oh my gosh, there's a big one! Oh! And I think I just jumped in lava. So as you can see, oh, I want to get that one, but it's going to be really hot in there. Okay, maybe we can YOLO. I mean, YOLO is always a good idea, right? Um, I'm probably going to die. YOLO! It only has five hit points! No! It didn't work! It didn't work! And there's a voodoo demon! No! Okay, YOLO, bad idea, bad idea, it doesn't, it didn't work. And now there's hoplites down here, what on earth is going on? But yeah guys, I've flattened out the area a bit, just to try and allow these new enemies to spawn a bit more. And it's kind of been working, but they don't spawn super often, so I've kind of been grinding out some of these infernal rocks, and I kind of died a couple of times, but uh, let's not focus on that, because it's pretty embarrassing. But uh, what we might do guys, is head back to base, and see what we can craft with this new stuff, make some obsidian, skin potions and then we can mine up all the hellstone that we need for our ultimate weapons ah yes what a beautiful day to be back at base and guys it is time to do a little bit of crafting and see oh yes the goblins moved upstairs that's awesome so I did a little bit of crafting with our new uh, what are they called again? What are they called? Where did I put them? The infernal rocks. I forgot already. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so let's put them in the guide and let's see. Oh, wow. Check out all this stuff. Fiery leggings. <gasps> is it a throwing armor set? That is so cool. We'll have to visit the rogue again and see if there's more stuff we can make. Pain caller. Summons inferno. And oh my gosh. It's a new hard mode boss. Can't wait to fight it. We can make a bow. Where do you make all this stuff? Anvil. Brimstone Blaze. Well, it looks like another hard mode weapon. Okay, that looks amazing though. We'll have to make that. Okay, there's lots of different weapons to make. That's pretty cool. So I guess I like to make all the armors. So let's start with that, guys. Oh, wow. There it is right there. Beautiful. Oh, also, I did mine up some obsidian on the way back because we still need to get our hellstone bars too. So let's get the armor equipped and actually see what it's all about. Whoa, check it out. Look like a fiery ninja. That's amazing. Have we got some throwing stuff? Yeah, Devin the ninja. <laughs> okay, what's the set bonus? Ranged and thrower attacks can burn foes and call fire balls to protect you. Oh, there's a fireball now. Awesome. Okay, let's make... I'll put his uh, vanity wig back on. Let's make some of the weapons too. We've got a bow, a flail, and a staff. Let's get this. How much How much thingies have I got left? Oh, I can only make one. Oh, no. Uh, let's make the staff. We're using magic weapons. Annoying. Ah, I can recast it anyway. Do they explode? Oh, they bounce. It's like a staff of water bolts, guys. I love this. So I'm going to reforge that with the goblin, and let's have a quick montage of getting some hellstone, and then we've got some ultimate weapons weapons to make people Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so excited. We've got all the stuff ready to craft the ultimate weapons. And what we're actually doing now is making our way to the corruption because we need a demon altar to actually craft most of the things that we need. So we're going to go back to our Eater of Worlds arena. I think I've just got to drop down this hole here. Ooh, try not to hit the sides, Happy. All right, beautiful. Nice one. A little bit of parkour there. And I also brought an anvil along. So what we've got... Ah, place it symmetrically. <laughs> place it symmetrically, Happy. So here's all the weapons. So some we had during our adventure, like the Star Spray, Talon Blade, Harpy Blade I had to get from a Harpy, obviously. Uh, Sky Blade I bought from the Adventure NPC. And other stuff I just crafted, like the Phoenix. I got Unreal on it. It was pretty cool. Um, and that's what I needed the Hellstone Bars for. So that's pretty awesome. But anyway, let's actually have a look here. Oh my gosh, guys, here they are. So the Night Sky, that's the bow weapon. Oh, it took over my Bloom Buster. That's cool. We've got the Shadow Shot. Awesome. Horizon's Edge. And we've also got Starblade. All right, we have five new weapons right here. Shoddy. Oh, so, oh, what's hitting me? Something's invisible. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, I thought a good way to try these out is to fight some bosses. So let's get them into our hot bar. Beautiful. Let's get the magic one and the sword. And we'll summon the uh, Eater of Worlds. You can buy boss summoning items. 
from the Dryad. It's colossal. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. So let's try the sword. Whoa! Look at the sword go. Oh my goodness. It's just like shredding it up, guys. That's kind of cool. Now, I think it said every seventh attack. Oh, it shoots stars. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Check it out. Oh, I think one of the parts has a mortal on it. That's kind of crazy. Wow, look at the homing attacks. That is phenomenal. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, this boss is actually immortal. All right, let's try the bow next. Okay, the bow seems to shoot. Is it shooting like, oh, it's shooting like bouncy stars sometimes. That's kind of cool. Oh, all right, let's try the shadow shot. Oh, wow, check that out, guys. It's like shooting like all this sort of, whoa, oh, that is cool. Oh my gosh, don't die, Happy. That would be pretty embarrassing. Okay, there's a few hearts for Happy around. I like that one. And let's try the Horizon's Edge. Okay, that like places this purple thing that sort of attacks enemies. Yeah, it's like shooting things at them. I think my favorite is the sword so far. Whoa, that is incredible. Holy moly. Oh, that homing attack is insane. Wow. Oh my gosh, and we got a treasure bag, which is always fun. <laughs> Let's open that up. Three, two, one, boom! And a worm scarf, of course. I'm pretty happy with those weapons. I'm probably going to need to modify them a little bit. Maybe use some better ammo, but they are pretty cool indeed. I like this shadow shot. Very nice, but this sword, very much my favorite. Wow, that is so cool. Anyway, guys, let's get on with our adventure. No, what is this? We've got a blood moon. We've got immortal zombies. There is craziness going on everywhere. Just die already, crazy zombie. Oh, okay. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I might get a flying piggy bank thing that I'll always forget to use. That will be amazing. And oh, is that a new enemy? I don't know. It looked like some jumping mouth thing. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Let's see if there's, there's supposed to be some new spirit mod enemies in a blood moon. Let's see. Hopefully, they're not too rare. But we'll have a quick look around. Oh, my gosh. Is that new? That, like, Flesh hound. Okay, oh, what's that? A dead eye marksman. Whoa, that looks cool. Oh my gosh. I think there's a new crafting material. Yeah, blood fire. Wow. This mystical blood is warm to the. There it is. It's a piano. <laughs> it's a piano. <laughs> Crazy. Right, I'm throwing it here. I'm not dying during Blood Moon. That would be too embarrassing. Let's have a quick look and see what this stuff makes. Oh, there's another armor set. No. Oh my gosh. It's magic. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, wow. There's like Reaper's mask. Oh, Hellfire shotgun. Oh, is that like Overwatch? That's insane. Oh my gosh. There's like weapons. There's everything. Oh, oh my goodness. I wish we had a Blood Moon sooner. That would have been so good. Actually, I think I've got some uh, Eye of Cthulhu uh, summoning items too. We might as well have some fun beating up that. Now guys, I was thinking I had a lot of fun doing the giveaway the other day. I might do another one this weekend. So what I'll do is actually release the details for it in tomorrow's video. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And we are going to try our weapons on this Eye of Cthulhu while we are beating up some of these Blood Moon enemies. I reckon up what, so what you need to do just put the horizon's edge down, and then that's just going to attack as the battle's going on. So that's pretty good. Oh, okay, the shooting star bow is probably going to work a bit better outside. Okay, so let's just let it get up in the air a bit, and then I can shoot the stars. Oh, yeah. How would it be if they did a thousand damage like normal falling stars? That would be incredible. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, guys, looking at the time, we might start to wrap that up there for today. Thanks so much for watching. As always, make sure you tune in tomorrow for the details on our giveaway. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. If you've got any tips and tricks, because I definitely need them, leave them in the comments below. And here's the most important part. As always, you'll stay happy, and I'll see you soon. This is Happy Day, signing out. See ya.